In this kitchen, it's about who you know, and I know everyone. So today I'm gonna be making one of my favorite pastry desserts ever, and it's a vegan cream cheese danish. And I just use the same recipe for my pastry dough that I use for my croissant. So it's super simple. It's actually one of the easiest recipes that I've ever found for pastry dough. So already in my measuring cup, I've added one and a quarter cup of plant-based milk. And I will go ahead and microwave it for 20 seconds. I then added two and a half teaspoons of active dry yeast and quarter cup of sugar to my plant-based milk, mixed it and set it aside for 10 minutes. Now for my dry ingredients, in my mixing bowl, I'm going to add three cups of flour, half teaspoon of salt, and I'm just going to go in with my hands and mix all my dry ingredients together. Just get, in them, get them in there good. Okay, and I will now start adding my wet ingredients. And I'm going to mix this until I end up with my pastry dough. <laughs> Ooh, this pastry dough looks really good. The only thing about it is it's definitely a process. A process that takes about a day and a half. I usually start it the day before um, just because it's, it's about three steps. Okay, so on a dry and clean surface, I'm going to need my dough. So I'm just going to knead it, get those air bu bubbles out, and then I'm going to fold it or um, wrap it in saran wrap and place it in the refrigerator for about two hours just so it can double in size. While your pastry dough is in the fridge, you want to grab one cup of vegan butter and you just want to place it on a serene wrap just like this. And I'm just going to create a square, like smoosh it down, press it down. And then I'm going to once again wrap it in my plastic and place it in the refrigerator until my dough is ready to be rolled out and I can add in my vegan butter. Okay, so after two hours, as you can see, my dough has doubled in size. So I'm just gonna knead it just a little bit more, roll it out, and then what I'm going to do with my vegan butter is that I'm going to place it in the middle of my dough and then I'm going to fold my dough with my butter inside and I'm going to just hit it, just press it down just get it good just so your butter doesn't break your dough and then i'm going to roll it out once again roll it out nice and long just so you can fold it one more time and then once you fold it you're going to refrigerate it for two more hours okay so it has been two hours so i'm just going to roll it out once again and then i'm going to do the same thing i did last time where i'm going to fold it again and then i'm gonna wrap it in my plastic once again and then i this time i'm just gonna refrigerate it overnight looking good okay so for my vegan cream cheese i'm gonna be using this go veggie it's really good and i'm just gonna add all eight ounces of my vegan cream cheese to my bowl two tablespoons of sugar one teaspoon of vanilla extract okay and i'm just gonna go ahead and mix that in just mix it good get everything in good and i will go ahead and squeeze in one and a half teaspoons of lemon juice mix it in once again wow this cream cheese tastes so good i'm like getting so excited for these and, and this time i'm going to refrigerated until i'm ready to use it so it's 
the next day and as you can see my um, pastry dough did double in like quadruple size but um it's okay i'm gonna roll it out and then i'm gonna start on my um cream cheese sandwiches okay so as you can see my dough has doubled in size so i'm just going to knead it one more time and then this time i'm gonna roll it out and i'm going to start on my danish okay so once it's rolled out i'm going to start cutting little strips of my pastry dough just like this and on my pastry dough i'm gonna twist it and just swirl it creating a circle just like this look how cool that looks and then i'm going to indent a little indention just in the middle so I can add my vegan cream cheese. Wow, um, I thought it was going to be harder to, to start creating my Danish, but it's actually not that hard. It's actually pretty simple. They are coming a little medium small, but they should be the perfect size. Okay, all done. And I'm going to bake these at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. So this is the first time I'm making these and I originally was going to bake these for 20 minutes and I did end up baking them for a little longer just because when I was um, opening the oven and kind of filling them, they were still kind of soft. So I did leave them in for 10 more minutes just so they can get a little more golden brown. And Okay, so it's about time. It's been 30 minutes and these look amazing. Look at how beautiful these look and the smell i swear it smells like a bake shop in here i love it these are amazing i am so proud of myself these look so good okay so the last thing we're gonna make is our glaze so in my bowl i'm going to add one cup of powdered sugar one tablespoon of plant-based milk and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, and I'm just gonna whisk it until I end up with my beautiful glaze. And once you have your glaze, you just wanna drizzle your vegan delicious cream cheese danish with it. And there they are, your vegan cream cheese danish. Look at how delicious these look. I swear to you, I feel like I'm at a bake shop. These are amazing. They taste so good. I am so excited and proud of myself for making these. Everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And like always, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time.